What's up, y'all? I'm Jordy. Today I'm going to be sharing some Ogre Pond highlights from my GC2 run. Fire Ogre Pond plus Terra plus one attack in the sun, helping hand boosted Ivy Cudgel hurts. Uh, this set also has Swords Dance to make stuff hurt even more, and Grassy Glide, which pairs well with Rillaboom, so you can get a priority move on this thing. Anyway, it's super strong. Let's get on to some matches. Okay, Water Ogre Pond, Incineroar, Urshifu, Raging Bolt, Fluttermane, and Volcarona. Volcarona's super cool. And a little scary for Fluttermane. I always gotta identify the fire types that cause me trouble, and Volcarona is one of those. Um, Trick Room Eruption work? No. Does Fluttermane lead work? Maybe. Does Bolt Ferrigarath lead work? Maybe. Yeah, it's not bad. Uh, it's weak to Struggle Bug. But honestly, so is a Fluttermane lead. And I'm not even going to try to set Trick Room. I think I will go Ogre Pond. Ogre Pond's alright here. And then maybe just Fluttermane. No sun? Does that work? Not really. Hmm. No Fluttermane. No Fluttermane feels weird. But this should work! I have all the pieces I need. I have everything I need to win this match. Oh, cool. Doesn't mean I do win this match. It means I can win this match. Okay. Time to blow up Volcarona. Hopefully I don't get hit by a struggle bug. But I could. Here we go. Uh, no Terra, really? Okay. Protect on your bolt, maybe? Just a quiver dance. Tell me this is enough anyway. I'd be so happy if this was enough anyway. If this isn't enough, I might just lose to that Volcarona. Mmm. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. And there's where the special attack drop comes from. Haha. <laughs> Alrighty. I mean, their Volcarona can't win if I Thunderclap in Trick Room. But then I'll be at minus two on both of these. And would be slower than their Bolt. Oh, this is so awkward. This is so incredibly awkward. Oh man, um... Gotta keep the pressure up on the Volcarona. 
maybe they Terra now. I'm throwing. I don't know what to do here. I'm panicking over this Volcarona. I think I might need a break. <laughs> No Terra. So unless you blow up my bolt, what you do? And you quiver dance again. You know what, your bolt is super weak now. I'm gonna go to Ogre Pond and I'm gonna Swords Dance. Cause you've Quiver Danced, you're in Trick Room, you know what you cannot do. I'm gonna Swords Dance. I think I will also bring in Torkoal. How many turns of Trick Room remain? Three. Alright. I have to get this into a position that can be won. Fergraph is gonna swap out first anyway in Trick Room. This will probably boost your, what, Special Defense? Now that you're Dracoed? Physical Defense. I don't like to see that. But you're gone anyway. Into Incineroar. Check from Volcarone, that's fine. Now I have a couple options here. I think I Ivy Cudgel Volcarona and bring back in the Furograph to stop a fake out. That's what I'm gonna predict them to do. I think they wanna fake something out. Because they think they can take a hit from Torkoal, they'll fake out the Ogre Pond. And then I get the plus one sun boosted Ivy Cudgel. Now, if they just Flare Blitz in the sun, that'll do a ton. I live, though, unless they're, like, pretty attack invested. Now they Terra. Presumably into something that resists fire. Yep. Dragon's a good one. I don't have much defense, though. I wonder if I still knock you out. Oh, good play. I'm now neutral. I wonder if I knock you out. Not even going for the fake out. And yeah, you're gonna heat wave and I'm gonna lose two Pokemon unless I knock you out here. Mm, I might knock you out here. I don't, depends on your investment. This will hurt. Yeah, yes. It's not over. Whew. I have gotten one KO. And now we are in the last turn of Trick Room with a bunch of things Ogre Pond cannot beat. And that Torkoal cannot beat. Hmm. 
I gotta be making plays. Oh, crit. Oh, that did nothing. Ooh, parting shot the Ferrigorath. Interesting. And show me like a snarl. And your last is Fluttermane. Okay, this is technically what I wanted. They have so many options. And they chose to stay in with Fluttermane. Ah. I'm faster than Fluttermane. That's interesting. Oh, and I get that crit. Okay. I'm faster than Fluttermane. That is a huge deal. Huh. <laughs> Last turn of sun. Ogre Pond's at neutral. This is technically winnable. Oh, geez. That crit on the bolt. Oh, it's a fake out into Torkoal. Nuh-uh. That's not what you should be doing. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Sun going down is annoying. But it means maybe Ogre Pond doesn't die to a Flare Blitz. And they canceled! Yes! We did it! We did it! Okay, here we've got a rain team? We've got Chiu Flutter, Torn, uh, Archaladon, and then Bax Caliber and Water Pond. I do think they have manual rain. Do not lead Torkoal. Don't do it. It's not the way. And then I want to lead Rillaboom. But that causes its own problems. Our Chaladon is honestly a pretty big problem. All on its own. Uh, eliminating Thunderous right away would be great. And Raging Bolt can do that. Honestly, setting up Trick Room right away would be great. <sighs> Problem is I want to use Ogre Pond. I get up I get up the weather and then Ogre Pond can go crazy. Just don't know how possible that's gonna be. And then last, probably Rillaboom. Can take some good hits. Man. It's a tough matchup. Sun v. Rain is always pretty tough for Sun. Specifically Arch Haladon. Oh, cool Vaporeon. He's sleepy. He's sleepy. Arch Haladon and Chiyu. What is that about? Beads of Ruin activated before Mold Breaker. Your scarf! Don't think. Just go. Do it, 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 do it.
I'm going for the brain off. Hit the thing with the big hit the thing button. Do I like that someone's gonna get Dark Pulse? No. A Scarf Dark Pulse is probably livable. Yes, no flinch. You love to see it. And a crit. All right, goodbye. All right, their Chiyu is in a good position, I have to admit. That was mostly a good trade, but not a perfect one. Okay, now you Dark Pulse, the Torkoal, and use Bleak Windstorm. Grassy Glide does not save me. You can't guarantee hitting the Bleak Windstorms. <clears throat> Just rain dance. So then you're you feel safe against these things? Oh yes, free earth power. I like that. Show me grassy glide range. That's definitely grassy glide range. Thank you for the crit, Torkoal. You just saved everyone's life. Except Ogre Pond, who will still die. I think it's okay for Ogre Pond to go down. And Torkoal swapping first, so Chiyu is staying in and getting glided. That is a fact. Um, I guess they could use a prankster move before I glide, but I'm not sure what would help them. Yes. Goodbye, Chiyu. No more of them Dark Pulse thingies. And I can lock that thing down with claps now if I want. I also get a fake out. Um, having burned Terra. And then bringing in, like, Fluttermane would be annoying. Backs caliber. No, that's okay. Fake out turn, Thunderbolt Tornadus. Don't really mind losing Rillaboom. But I would greatly mind you being Protector Sash on the Tornadus. Protect seems kind of risky. I guess if you have Protect on both. But if you only have Protect on Tornadus, it, it would seem weird to use it here. A Terra. Oh, Terra, Terra Ghost, maybe? No, it's just Bax Caliber. Into Terra Electric. Good to know. No, that's a cool set, actually. We get the fake out, no protect from Torn. Just a bleak wind storm. Rilla Boom's gone. Thank you for your service, Rilla. You done great. And Bolt got crit. Flinch from Bax. Show me you're not sad, please. Yes! Yes! You're not sad. That's fantastic. And you are absolutely not knocking us both out. Would Assault Vest live Eruption?
Um, Earth power is 90 times 2. Flamethrower is 90 times 1.5 times 1.5. Thunderclap Eruption would be bad, because they could just attack Torkoal. Dragon Pulse plus Eruption is fine, because one of the strong moves will hit. Oh, I'm terrified. I'm terrified here. Scale Shot. Misses! Good game. That's it. That's all, you, that's all she wrote. You barely lived that. Ooh. Good game. That was a tough one. Also a very cool battle. I wonder what the set was. Scale shot? Probably loaded dice? Did they have Terra Blast or something? Icicle Spear? That's cool. Alright, we're fighting a Bax Caliber and a Heatran. Rillaboom Flutter Ensign and Water Ogre Pond. Heatran's cool. Uh, this team struggles with fire types, and they got two really good fire types. Fluttermane isn't terrible, but there are quite a few things that will surely cause it a problem. Um, Raging Bolt would be good if we can save Terra for it. We've got a ground move on Torkoal and Rillaboom. We could also use Ogre Pond if we don't get intimidated and we save Terra. If we uh, d don't Terra it to keep Mold Breaker. Gosh, maybe it is just Fluttermane, Torkoal, Ogre Pond. Be a little scared of the Heatran if we go with this. But we could have like Bolt in the back. Bolt does okay. Rillaboom. Rillaboom in general isn't that great. be good against the Water Ogre Pond, but so is Bolt. It would be good against the Fluttermane. I guess we're a little weak to the Fluttermane if we don't bring Rillaboom. But I think this is what we gotta do. Oh boy. Now if they lead Heatran, I don't know what to do. Oh, cool card. I love his Sudra. It is Heatran and you got Heatran and your Incineroar in front. All right, I, uh, I don't like that I have to do this. Helping Hand Shadow Ball will never knock out a Heatran. No Ball Heatran, like 0, 0, 0 has like a 6% chance to go down to my Helping Hand Shadow Ball. So I can never make that play here. I gotta just take the KO I can get. Hopefully they would fake out into the Torkoal. And then I could just, just flash cannon, I guess. If there are no item, we live that over half the time. But if they're life orb, we're gone. And they'd have to be maxed to get us the 43% of the time. Incineroar's gone, that's good. Bye, Incineroar. No AV on you. And just Earth Power into Torkoal. Okay. We eat that, even. Well, I mean, it wasn't tasty, but... We are still alive. And confirm you're not Life Orb. That's all you do to Torkoal. min. You did less than that. You're not max special attack. We'll live the flash cannon. That's awesome. I'm 
This is the part where they terrestrialize their back's caliber, throw an insane move at Fluttermane, and Earth Power Torpor. And my response to that is to just keep up the pressure. <clears throat> yep, you're gonna terrestrialize. It's gonna be Bax, and it's gonna be poison, I guess. Yeah. Well, can you even knock out Fluttermane? And I have a speed boost because of the sun, so you're not gonna like dragon dance to get ahead of me. So I'm not actually that scared. Maybe loaded dice icicle spear? Ooh, that did a lot! Good damage. Oh yeah, swords dance? I don't care. Oh, now you flash cannon. And then you ice shard. No. Okay. Well, Ivy Cudgel in the Sun, knocking heat train. It will not. Still probably my best play. Maybe I could get out of here now? No, Raging Bolt's weak to ice. Moonblast on backs. Maybe I should double into backs. Fluttermane is gonna go first. Would they protect backs caliber here? I do think they could do that actually. I wanna double the backs, but it's not safe. A Swords Dance set should have protect in my opinion. Okay, yeah, they did do Protect. And then probably just Heat Wave. Put us both into Ice Shard range or something. Give me a crit! That's not a crit. Magma Storm? Oh yeah, we can just dodge those. Oh, I like that. Leftover is Heatran. No, I can take the Heatran with Ivy Cudgel. But, I'm wondering if I should instead take the backs with Ivy Cudgel. I might be more worried about it. I could, I could double into it. That way, if Moonblast gets the KO, which is close, I don't think it would though, Ivy Cudgel can finish it off. Would they protect Heatran this time? Ah, I'm gonna hit the Heatran. Oh, they protected. I should have doubled. Mm. You have Ice Shard. It does a huge chunk to Fluttermane. An absurd chunk. But Bax goes down. Okay, I made no mistake. Now, if the sun is about to end, maybe they live Ivy Cudgel? Does 46.9% minimum. They're right about there. Oh, one more turn of sun? Okay. Cool. Yeah, last turn of sun. Just protected Heatran. Just keeping up the pressure. Just just click the powerful moves. Yeah, okay. Bye, Heatran. Unless you're going for a double protect to get out of the sun. Nope. Isn't Mold Breaker great? Oh, there's the crit. That would have been really convenient earlier, but you got the dodge, so it makes up for it. 
No more sun. It's okay. I don't really need it. Yep. Good game. Alright, ooh, a Smeargle. First one I've seen. And the Blood Moon Bear, Farigraph, Torkoal, Landorus, and Annihilate. This person also has a rating of 1714. Yikes. That's terrifying. Uh, Smeargle could easily pop follow me. I feel like they want Trick Room, so I want to bring Torkoal. <sighs> Maybe Fluttermane and my own Farigoraf? What's my plan against... Smeargle. This is the first Smeargle I've faced. I don't really have a Smeargle plan. Rillaboom Fluttermane doesn't seem bad. I can't fake out. Torkoal has to be in the back. No, it would be Ogre Pond, Fluttermane, Torkoal in the back. Oh jeez, oh jeez. Rillaboom? Oh no. I don't know, I don't like this. This is a rough matchup. But they've got so many points. If I can win this, this will put me so far ahead. I don't know why I'm being paired with someone with 100 plus more points. Oh, their Ogre Pond's lying down. They've got 99 more points than I do right now. Well. Why do I feel like this is bait? Why do I feel like they're not gonna final gambit? Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that I feel they're like they're not gonna final gambit. They did. That's pretty good. Um, any chance you live a dazzling gleam though? Probably not. You do! That's amazing! That is so good. Nothing gooder has ever happened. That is the most good thing that could happen. Double kick. That's it. That's an interesting tag. Is that for Chen Pao? We get that crit. That's fine. Whatever. Two down. Okay. This isn't going badly. Maybe they're maybe they're playing just click buttons. They've got their own Torkoal. That's mm, not the greatest. And the bear. Haven't burned Terra yet. Trick Room has three whole turns to get through. <clears throat> I 
Hmm. I don't know. They're burning Terra on Torkoal. Actually, that's pretty good. That's pretty good to see. Just eruption. That should knock out my Fluttermane. It doesn't. No, it does. Okay. If it didn't, I would confirm like they're not holding a boosting item of some kind. But it probably would have knocked out anyway. Well, bring in Torkoal while the Trick Room's still up. <laughs> but then do what about it? <laughs> Terrifier Flamethrower. Try to get another Spiky Shield in. That doesn't seem bad. Unless they protect their bear. It's probably not good that I'm not hitting their Torpol, though. I get the double shield. That's excellent. They didn't protect their bear. That's amazing. Uh, they get the eruption first, though. That's bad. This could be specs. Yikes. Big yikes. Okay, well, we get a fake out on Torkoal, I guess. Plus one Grassy Glide doesn't knock that out. And I wouldn't get plus one anyway. Double Grassy Glide will knock it out and then I lose. So I have to fake out. And Grassy Glide. Good damage. Oh lord! Oh, their weakness policy! And then Hyper Voice kills both of my Pokemon and I lose. The end. GG. No, it's just Blood Moon. Wow. Oh wow. Um I I don't really see anything I can do here. Crit high horsepower, live hyper voice at plus two somehow. Didn't even crit. Did live the hyper voice. That should be enough anyway. Good game. <sighs> All right. Well, you were high ranked. Okay, we've got mm, Fluttermane, Incin, Bolt, Urshifu, Amoongus, Landorus. That's so boring. I mean, that's such a boring team. Scary, sure, but boring. Well then, a boring team deserves a boring response. Fluttermane, Torkoal, Ogre Pond. I always struggle to my, on my fourth for this. 
Because, like, Rillaboom is cool. But Bolt can actually, like, deal more damage. But, like, Rillaboom seems necessary to, like, I don't know, have something that can live a hit from Landorus one time. Now, to be fair, Ogre Pond can take an Earth Power if it doesn't Terra, and a Sludge Bomb if it does. But you gotta be just right with that. Very precise. <sighs> I guess it's Bolt. They don't have too much priority for Ferrigraph to want to come in. I don't think Torkoal could sweep here. Yeah, I want my Bolt because it can do more damage to Amoongus. And it can actually damage their Bolt. My Bolt is relatively fast. It's been faster than all the ones I've run into so far. Which is kind of awkward when I want to go the Trick Room route, but I don't usually. No card! Boo. Boo! Boo this person. Thank you. Well... Time to see Speed Tears. Ooh, it's me. Okay. I win the Speed War. Their Fluttermane can't knock out my Fluttermane. But they could double it with Thunderclap. My biggest fear is they protect their Bolt. Ah, I, have to, I have to know who they're going to protect. I don't know if I made the right call. I need to blow up one of these two guys. But either one of them could be protecting. No swaps, at least. I don't feel like the Fluttermane would protect. There's also a chance it specs. And they are going to terrestrialize one thing defensively. It's the Fluttermane. Intestellar, oh, that's super cool. But that's not defensive, that's offensive. That means you're getting blown up. Show me Bolt Protect. Which would come after Helping Hand, because that's awkward and weird. Nope, it's a Thunderclap. Oh, that does way too many damages. <laughs> Don't like that. But Fluttermane is gone. Not in a great position, but I traded positively. <clears throat> now you gotta bring out something that threatens Torkoal, because you can just Thunderclap the Flutter. This would be a great time to have for Rigorath. Oh my goodness. Yeah, just bring in something to threaten Torkoal, and then Thunderclap, and, it's, and you're golden. Oh, jeez. Oh, lord. Yeah, I would be able to destroy something right now. If only. Alright, well, Fluttermane's important. Ugh. When we get rid of their bolt. Swap in Ogre Pond. Flamethrower Landorus. Because if they ignore Torkoal... Then Ogre Pond goes down, and I need Ogre Pond to beat the Landorus, so Flamethrower. I'm, I'm preserving all the parts that can beat Bolt. Okay, they did Thunderclap and fail. And then just Earth Power, okay. Fine.
The Ivy Cudgel into Landorus is not guaranteed. Which is absolutely terrifying. I am sitting here terrified of the fact that first of all I don't know the speed tiers on the bolts. But secondly that I have to go for an Ivy Cudgel knockout, which is like 87% against the standard set. And Dragon Pulse. Okay, they swap out Bolt. I guess I could have safely protected them. But it's just a Moongus. I don't care about that. Just a Protect. You know what? That's fine. That's perfectly fine. That's great damage, too. This Bolt is crazy. Alright, Bolt in the back will handle my Flutter. This is just an Ivy Cudgel Protect. Because Amoongus can't actually do anything. I don't I don't need to risk the getting the low roll on Landorus and getting Earth Powered. I guess I could s get Sludge Bombed. If I get the low roll and get Sludge Bombed, there's... Then they would have to position their bolt to knock out Fluttermane, and they could pretty easily win that one. But yeah, if you're just gonna Rage Powder, I, I'm a Grass type. And I get the roll I needed. Bye, Lando. And since Ogre Pond is faster than Bolt, I can simply Ivy Cudgel their Amoongus and then throw a Dragon Pulse. Now, if they're faster and get their Dragon move on me first, then there's a good chance I could lose. Ah, but they just canceled the battle. Good game. Get a trainer card. An Alchemy Trick Room team. Sick. That's the second Smeargle I've seen. I don't think they brought it the first time. What do I do about any of this? I really need to stop Trick Room. But I don't have a super easy way to do that. Rillaboom plus somebody, maybe, could do a double up. Fluttermane at least has spread moves. Gosh, I don't know. Uh, I can't lead Torkoal. I need that in the back. Last time this happened, I brought Torkoal and I just lost the speed tie and just died to Eruption. That's not good. Maybe Fluttermane for Rigoraf. Rillaboom seems really good here. Torkoal Rillaboom? Do I really want to not have Raging Bolt? I guess. Man. This is hard. Uh, they could see for Rigoraf and think Imprison and then not even try to set their own trick room. <laughs> oh, and they have no trainer card? I lost a little respect for you for that. Who are they going with? It is Smeargle for Rigoraf. There's a chance they wide guard. And there's a chance Helping Hand Moonblast takes Farigarath.
It's there's a lot of chances stacked in there. They could live this. They could follow me. But what's good is if they do follow me, I'm only throwing one move. Ooh, they didn't follow me. And they did die. Amazing. And they spore the furograph. Yeah, that's the cost of doing business. Attack rise, speed fall. Fine, whatever. Eject pack. That's interesting. That's a really cool tech. I like that a lot. <laughs> Don't like that my Farigraph's asleep and I'm now about to take a fake out eruption. No, I can't be faked out. Follow me eruption. Yeah. Burn Terra. Not ideal. <clears throat> well, Trick Room's not happening. Maybe we sacrifice our own Torkoal? Still a hard situation. Yeah. Smeargle is so strange of a mod. I guess maybe it would have been worth taking the Smeargle while I have the chance. But they could just have. I wouldn't be able to fake out. It's definitely a follow me. Graph burns its mandatory turn. Eruption probably knocks both here. No, it does not do much damage to my Torkoal. Special defense rise on that. And defense down. My play would be fake out Torkoal and Earth Power Torkoal. And their response to that would be to spore my Torkoal. I don't know. Possible. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, we at least get the fake out. There's no protect. They go for follow me. All right. That confirms they are min speed. Sharply raised defense? You don't live a wood hammer now, do ya? Oh, you already got one defense drop. Yeah, I have to go for the earth power there. And go for a knockout on the Smeargle. 
I get the Smeargle knockout. Now if I can get this speed tie, that would be great. I do get it. Now show me eruption. No, they know better. They heat waved. And they connect both. And they kill both. Okay, uh, not a great position to be in. But it's also not an over position. Who is your last? Blood Moon Bear. Fairy Terra Moonblast can kill some invested bears. But not if they do that! Ah, they double protect to see what I lock into. No harm in that. Well, it's the same play. Either I knock out the bear. Oh, they go for a double protect with the bear? Crazy play. And I take the bear. Can you Oko my Fluttermane? It is a single target Terra Fire Heat Wave. Come on, Fluttermane, you can take this. No! No, Fluttermane! Oh, you did your best, baby. That's a weird team. Got the tell. Regular Gudra, Tyranitar, Gastrodon, Sarina, and Lycanroc? The Midnight Form? Is that what that's called? Weird. I think my play is Fluttermane, Torkoal, blow stuff up. If that don't work, Ogre Pond, Rillaboom blow stuff up. But don't use priority moves, because they have a Sarin. Yeah, that seems pretty good. Okay. Alright. That's a really cool team. I, I don't even know what's happening here. I have no idea what to think. None of those get Parish Song. So they're not trying to do Parish Trap. They got a cute little Rabombi friend. That's nice. But like, what's their goal? Lycanroc and Sarina. Well, I'm not gonna use priority moves anyway. Maybe a Helping Hand Dazzling Gleam is the way to go here. Just try to get a double knockout if possible. As long as nothing's Assault Vested or Sash. Uh, they swap out their Sarina. Maybe they're trying to take Weather Control. Yeah, now the Lycanroc will take this a lot better. And my speed is now. I guess now if there's Scarf, they could catch me. <laughs> That'd be scary. But I don't really know what to think about this team in the slightest. Is there a skill swap no guard shenanigan going on somewhere? I know that thing gets no guard. Or 
It wasn't Scarf, I didn't think it was. And it does live thanks to the sand. Tyranitar doesn't, but he was weak to it. And then just a rock slide. I'd say just a rock slide, but that's a clean two shot. On everything. Oh, they're a life orb. Oh, and they're still alive. Well, one more life orb tick and they're gone. And they've got Gudra. Well, we're faster than the Lycanroc, so I see no reason not to Dazzling Gleam. I haven't used Terra yet. Do I want to take Sun? Tyranitar is gone. I can get Sun. I want it. And I do want it. I'm going to Dazzling Gleam. Assuming Gudra's doing something defensive. And just bring in my Rillaboom. So if something bad happens, I'd rather it happen to Rillaboom. Ogre Pond might be able to clean up. Just remember, don't click priority moves, because they have a Sarina. Yeah, probably a defensive Gudra Terra. Probably take this pretty easily then. Depending on what it is. Poison? I'm gonna do two damage. The Sandstorm is gonna do more damage, and I just canceled that out with Grass. And Lycanroc protects as well. What do you have, like, Sludge Bomb, Sludge Wave, Terra Blast, something like that? I don't know what Gudra gets in that way. I know it gets Acid Spray. Yeah, that wasn't very much damage. And it is Sludge Bomb. That's kind of scary. Okay, Rillaboom is faster than Lycanroc. That's really good to know. That's really, really good to know. That means I can just throw a wood hammer at the Lycan Rock and be good there. And if they want to go into Sarina, that's fine. I'm going to Flamethrower Gudra. Yeah. Okay, they did go into Sarina. But I don't know what Gudra's gonna who's Gudra's gonna knock out here. I don't know if it can knock out Rillaboom. Decent damage to Sarvina, but not a lot of damage. Oh, and they have Rocky Helmet. I wonder if I'm in range now. Okay, they just knock out the Torkoal. Got it. Got it. Good. It's fine. I'm also confirmed faster than the Sarina. Nice. Okay, Gudra gotta go. It's gonna get a bop. Real quick. Bop. And... How about a high horsepower for good measure? And now you'll protect it. No, Sarina protects. Okay, good. I made the right play. Bung bung bop. And you live that. Wow. That Gudra was a problem for a second. Oh, man. But now I have the speed advantage. This should be fine. Don't even have to click my priority moves. We already saw Rillaboom is faster than the Lycanroc. We know Ogre Pond will be faster than Sarina. We're good. Yeah, this will be fine. Even if you get a hit off with Lycanroc, you die to your own life orb. You would have to knock out both of my Pokemon in one hit.
Yep, and there was no speed tie. We just are faster. Good game. Good game, Lake Rock. And cool Pokemon you've got. That's a cool collection. Thank you for showing it to me, Pecos. And you got a trainer card? I like you. I like your style. All right, we're back. You made it. If you made it this far through the video, you probably liked it. So why don't you help me out by leaving a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Anyways, there's the rental code for you. Try this team out if you like it. And I'm Jordy. And uh, all right, peace.